Morning, so I'm in my kitchen at the moment making up my mix, my white oil mix for um, to deal with the woolly aphids in the orchard. So, so we just get one cup of oil. I like to use olive oil. And then to that you just add one tablespoon of detergent and mix it all together. And mixing it together, it turns quite white, hence why it's called white oil. So to every cup of water is two and a half teaspoons of the solution. And that, under a pressure, um, in like one of these guys with the pressure um, it blends it quite well in the water and that's what the detergent does it disperses it quite well so I'm gonna make up five litres and take it out to the orchard so that mix will go into that five litres with water also to scrub the scale off I've got this great little scrubber here that I can pour the solution in there as well so that's for to get all the um the lichen off so so out here in the orchard um it's an overcast and slightly drizzly day which is actually a good time to spray white oil um because of the oil in it you don't want a really really hot day or else it will burn the tree I am just in, um the areas that have got the woolly aphids so places like that if it can focus in so instead of spraying the whole tree I'm just designating at the moment where I can see them because I'll keep this spray up on a constant uh, basis now and I don't want to overwhelm the tree Definitely doing all around the base. Definitely doing all around the bases of all of the apple trees, especially. It's a bit harder to see the woolly aphids on a rainy day, but um, I'll get there. Picked up all the rotten apples, done all of the raking. I've got one pile left to turn into a compost heap. And the next job in here is going to be fixing all of the holes from the season so after I've finished treating all the trees um, we'll fill in the holes and then and then we're gonna do fix the netting I just noticed this on this tree here so these are all heritage grafted um, apples I haven't actually pulled all the um, grass around from this one I have every single other one uh, and checked out every other one but um, this one I couldn't lift up I've got to um, come in and cut that but I've just noticed see because um, these are grafted this guy here is a different color to uh, to that bit there if I come back that's actually I think this growth here is um, a growth that I've missed and it's actually coming out of the rootstock so I am going to, you can see how different it is. It's still an apple. Actually, what I might do, <laughs> I think what I might do is leave that there and see if apples grow on the root stock grows and see how they taste. Cause these apples aren't actually very, uh, these, I don't like them. Greg doesn't mind them. Um, Gemma doesn't like them either. So if this apple's better, I'll leave it there and it can be like um, a grafted it'll be like a, a grafted apple with two varieties hmm I'll keep you updated on that one so I've sprayed 10 litres now on all of the apple trees the next fun job is to get all of the lichen off the apple trees so I'm actually going to start on my favourite trees and so I can get a really close look to and make sure I get all of the aphids as I go along. So I've got this 
nifty little contraption. It's a, just a dishwashing liquid um, scrubber that I've got the same white oil solution in and I'm just going to simply, well, once it's primed up, once we... Also, there's, we've had a really wet summer, so there's a little bit of mould on um, some of them too. So, of course, where there's mould, there's disease, so we'll give them a little bit of a wash. And I love using this tool because it's nice and soft and it's not going to take off the bark. It's not going to ring bark. It's just going to take off what I need to take off. And so I've got my white oil, some white oil left. And like this one here, I'll just give them a little bit of a soak down. I've got in here the white oil as well. Now you've got to get into them without breaking any of these beautiful fruiting budding little branches so this will quite simply just rub off if you use your fingers you can scrape the bark off and you yourself can actually ring bark them which is not good because that's what the lichen is going to do eventually will ring bark them so we're just gently taking that off you can see this one's gone almost around. I don't want to use my fingers, but I love this tool. It's so gentle. You can see it's well, well used. And um, the white oil primes down into it as well. So it's um, cleaning it off now. I'll also find little areas where the woolly aphid um, have really gotten into like this bit in here give it a little scrub as well so this one's looking pretty good and if there's any really big wounds that I'm worried about like this I will put um, I'll come through after I've done all this and I'll put some steri prune on it so that's another video right there See, so I've done the hard prune and uh, to get them off the, the netting and um, gone through and done all the obvious stuff. So now when I'm getting quite intimate with the trees, so what I'm going to do with my secateurs is come through and what I want to do is get rid of all these dead things, dead bits, and wherever they touch... I'm going to just give that a little snip and I always snip just above the bud on a little angle so I'll get my secateurs and I'll show that so this so anything that's been um, slightly damaged so any branch that's been slightly damaged any branch that is touching another branch like like this one that to me is looking quite damaged so I'll snip that off there and you can see it's being affected up there. And of course, any damage means um, they're going to be perceptible to more disease. So as your trees do age, they do need a little bit more care than the younger ones, that's for sure. But oh my gosh, the apples off this tree, <gasps> cannot tell you. We fight over the apples from this tree and we also dry. This is the tree that, you know, if we, if there are <laughs> any left, we will dry them. And oh my gosh, how delicious. So I will have a look at uh, these. Oh, so I'll have a look at um, this one. I think I will probably chop this one off here because they're touching. And when they get loaded with apples, they'll just snap anyway. So look, and the more intimate you get, you can sort of like, oh look, there you go. There's a little nick there. So I'll chomp him off there. So I'm going to have to go get my sick of tears. And look, I've missed a whole heap of woolly aphid here. So I'll give him a little bit of a, a brush off. Give him a little bit of a brush off. Give him a little bit of a brush off. And you can see a little bit of lichen there. I mean, there's a lot to do on just one tree. You see these two here are touching. 
So I'll make a decision of which one looks the healthiest. So I think I might take that one off there and leave. I'll take this one and leave that one. So that's how I prune. There are probably, if anyone's watching and uh, they are orchardists, I'm sorry if I've offended <laughs> with, my, with my orchard skills. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, look, we are a small um, organic farm and um, we're going to be posting a lot more of this sort of stuff of how to look after your plants and when to do things. Um, so please click subscribe, subscribe to YouTube. I'm 52 and I'm just new to all this sort of stuff. So yeah, I think that's what you do, isn't it? You subscribe. And uh, yeah, so we've got many, many, many years of experience uh, living an eco-sustainable lifestyle. So we've got a lot to share. See you soon.